Hey, welcome back. You're listening to Chicago Children's Theater's latest radio play. Welcome back to X Marks a Spot, Episode 5, Dear Dad. This show was designed with and for the blind or visually impaired community. Melody, a character in this play, has a visual impairment, uses a cane to get around, and reads and writes using Braille. As always, we invite you to dim the lights, close your eyes, and join us on this adventure. The Otis children, having used all their wishes, sat down around Melody's Braille writer to work on their letter to their father. Dear Dad. Dad. Okay, done. Let me put it in this envelope. No, we have to read it first. Okay, but then I want to put it in the envelope. Okay, let's read. Dear Dad, I'm writing this on the bill writer you bought for me before you left for Vietnam. We're in Michigan. We help Mom by being good, just like you told us. We found in a big lighthouse and play on the beach every day. There are millions of stars at night, way more than in Chicago. We make up stories and songs for Peanut, so we don't ever need to TV. It's pretty cool here. Mom works hard taking care of us and the guest. She is a real jewel. Yesterday we wished for wings. That's a long story. And we drew you a map from the sky. So you can find our new home. Our teeny weeny house by the lake is where we live now. Let me read this part. X marks the spot. Please hurry home. It's fun here. Oh, uh, hi, 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 hi. P.S. Peanut says hi. <laughs> Sky grabs a letter and shoves it into the envelope. The children fight over who will get to carry it to the mailbox. Mail takes some time to get where it's going, which is why it's often called snail mail. The children had no idea how long it would take a letter to get all the way to Vietnam where their father was, but they knew at the very least, it would be a while. One typically beautiful Saturday morning, Sky practices playing a song on her ukulele, as Devin and Peanut play games with rocks on the beach. Melody enters carrying a picnic basket from their mother. The children read a note she has written to them. Hey kiddos! Enjoy these treasures. Love, Mom. They peek inside the basket. A kite! Blueberry muffins and lemonade! Melody! She put bells on the kite so you could hear how high it goes. Far out idea, Mom. The children sit close together on a blanket, enjoying the treats. Remember what that silly fairy said? Grow where you are planted. It's like it thought we were a bunch of seeds. Maybe we are a bunch of seeds. Like the seeds on those sunflowers. Yeah. That's right. We are still growing, right? Hey, come on, Dev. Melody and I will hold the string, and you run with the kite. I'll bet we can make it fly higher than the lighthouse. No, I should stay and watch Peanut. Maybe we'll find some beach glass. Devin and Skye run with the kite. Melody leans her head back until she feels the warmth of the sun cover her whole face. She smells the beach air and listens to her siblings as they run through the sand. Want another muffin, Peanut? Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Melody opens the basket and finds something tucked underneath the napkins. What's this? Oh, wow, Sky, Devin, come back here. They run back to Melody and Peanut, dragging their kite. We're never going to get that thing to fly. Look! It's a letter, and it has a lot of stamps on it. It must be from Dad. Dad, read it to us in your best dad voice. My dearest Devin, Melody, Sky, and Peanut, I received your wonderful letter today, and the happiness it brought me is beyond measure. You are all my pride and joy. First of all, hug your mom for me. Melody, your brow is brilliant. You are a genius, my sweet girl. Let me read, too. No. Let her read. Oh. Remember the time we went to Foster Beach? We built that enormous sandcastle, 
and then the water hastily what is that word quickly washed our castle away sky cried and cried no uh shh go on no i'm not reading anymore you're doing a good job no okay okay then your mother surprised us with a bright red paper lantern that was lit and set sail way up in the sky remember all the wishes we made my wish was that we could be together at the lake forever you and your mother are working hard to make my wish come true i'm happy to tell you that i will be home before the summer ends <gasps> Ooh! Yes. the map you sent me is exactly what i what i wanted to guide me back home i cannot wait to see the millions of stars i will see you very soon and in the meantime x marks the spot over my heart where you be with me always love dad <laughs> Wee. We're gonna pick blueberries and raspberries with him? Sure, but first, we're gonna show him where we found the sand fairy. And then we can take him and Mom up to the top of the lighthouse. And maybe the fairy will come back and we can finally get a talking dog. Okay, everybody, let's go fly this kite. Melody, Sky, Devin, and Peanut take off down the beach with the kite slowly lifting into the air, over the lake, above the old lighthouse. There it goes. How high is it? Super high. Whoa, I can barely hear the bells anymore. Come on, Melody, grab out of the string. <gasps> there it goes. Let me hold too. You have to hold it tightly. Whoa, I'm so strong. Five out, we did it. <laughs> I did it, my dad. Oh man, I wish kids everywhere could see this. <gasps> wish granted. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. And remember what that sand fairy said, grow where you're planted. Now that the story's over, let's do an activity together. In this episode, the Otis children write a letter to their father, who they haven't seen in a long time. Now, it's your turn to write a letter. Is there anyone in your family you haven't seen for a while? Think about all the things that you've done since you were last together. When you see them next, what do you want to show them? And what do you want to do with them? Use all your senses to describe these things. Where will you go? What will it smell like there? What will you do, and how does it feel to do it? Anything you can't wait to listen to with them? Or taste with them? 